The Connecticut inscription on Rosemary Island is the earliest evidence we have of North American whalers making landfall in Western Australia. As part of the documentation of this important finding, we thought it was important to capture its landscape context as well as the fine detail of the techniques that have been used to create both the inscription and the Aboriginal engraving. In the field we used a drone um, as well as the normal digital SLR camera. We've also used the LiDAR data which was flown by a small plane um, and this creates a 3D view of the landscape. As we zoom in from seeing the panel on the top of the hill overlooking the sea, we can see the surface texture of the rock and the uh, standing stone uh, structures at both ends of the panel. And then we turn the focus to the inscription, which you can see in this image is located directly on top of the Aboriginal motif. Though when we actually use the D-stretch image enhancement to look at this imagery, it looked to us as if the scratchings of the grid were in fact over the top of the uh, whaler's inscription. So we were thinking perhaps this meant that the Yabawara had come along after the whalers and attempted to extinguish the evidence of them being in their territory. But we used a digital microscope to look at the intersections of the lines for the various parts of the inscription and also where they related to the grid. Um, and we looked at about 50 of these intersections. And you can see quite clearly that the um, metal tool marks, which are much finer, are in fact over the top of the um, more rounded Aboriginal motif.